Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Rowell. Alright, uh, yesterday was Saturday and I did a live stream and after the live stream I was kind of struggling a little bit to figure out what I was going to do for a vlog. I had originally thought that I was going to do another uh, recipe vlog, another Bites and Nibbles vlog. But I uh, decided since yesterday was kind of a nice day I wanted to try and do something outdoorsy because the next few days, including today, it's supposed to be raining and it seemed like a recipe vlog was a good thing to do on a rainy day. Well, unfortunately I procrastinated a little bit uh, in the process of looking and figuring out what it was and I did find something I wanted to do but unfortunately I didn't discover it until late in the afternoon and didn't actually figure it out until about five minutes after it closed for the day. It turns out that there's a uh, a trade show kind of going on in town called the Heart of Texas Builders Association a Home Show. Now I'm not exactly sure what it is but it looks like it's a lot of uh, home improvement kind of stuff and you know I'm kind of into that so I thought it'd be interesting to do that but I missed it yesterday but it turns out it's happening again today. So we're gonna go and check that out and uh, see uh, see if it's you know what it is and if it's interesting and uh, we're gonna just kind of walk around the the exhibits and see what they have there. This place, this is taking place at the Extraco Event Center. And if you remember uh, a few months ago when I did the uh, did the video on the rodeo here in Texas and that fair that took place, that was at the same center. So we're going to go back to the Extraco Event Center and look at the Heart of Texas Builders Association Home Show. I think this will be good. I'm going to check out this piece of ironwork out here. And they got the heart in the middle because Waco is the heart of Texas. All right, we are in the place. Let's kind of wander around, see what they got here. A lot of kind of what I was expecting it to be, like home improvement kind of stuff. So let's go look at some of the booths. So it looks like this company's like selling cutlery and cooking stuff and all that. So yeah, this place sells barbecues. I'll definitely have to be talking to something like that at some point. You know, I've got a barbecue right now, but my uh, mine is getting a little bit old and probably going to have to be replaced. And like I said, I'm going to probably want to get a smoker or something now that I'm in Texas here. That's kind of the thing you have to do. Window replacement. I bet you the uh, apartment complex could definitely use that. The windows we have in the apartment are in really bad shape and like, you know, single pane windows and some of them are broken and all that fun stuff. So, yeah, not sure they're going to spend any money here on this place, though. So. This is like a landscaping company, so they got like examples of their stuff out here. Wonder how much of that's actually real. Yeah, it feels it feels like a fake plant. That's kind of what they do with these things. Is they'll do uh, you know artificial silk plants in here rather than the real things. Refrigerators and ranges and di uh, clothes washers. I like that bathtub. That's pretty cool. So I guess this is a. Uh, a uh, company that does uh, what they call hydro seeding. I guess they uh, you start off with something like that and uh, within a few weeks it grows into something like that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, there's the process there. That sounds like a good way to, to uh, put in a lawn. Sure easier than laying sod. Air conditioners, I'm sure that's big business here in uh, Texas. This company does like tiling and all sorts of the building materials. You get to want to have the faux brick on the front or your house or whatever. Yeah, this is a place for that. Looks like they also do like a, a fireplace stuff too. So interesting. Rain gutters, another important thing here in Texas. Got to get the get the water to drain away from your house when it rains because we get a lot of that. Shower enclosures and glass here. Got to do all that. Real nice. I don't know if I'd want to have a shower on wheels, though. It's for showering on the on the go, I guess. All the different hardware you can have for like handles and knobs and stuff like that. Door knobs. Big variety of stuff here. It's one of these things that you can spend a little bit of money on, and it really makes a big difference on the look of your house. This place got some like uh, fun yard accessories, little signs and windmills and stuff like that. That's a lot of fun in here. Let's walk through here and see what they got. Outdoor lighting. Little uh, fun little bird houses. Wind chimes. 
And barbecue stuff, everything you'd want for barbecue. Looks really good. And I guess some options for uh, updating your uh, bathtubs and showers. I kind of like these natural stone looking things. That's uh, really beautiful. The shower in my house in California was uh, marble. And I mean, I was fascinated by how beautiful that was. Huge fan. And of course, sometimes you got to replace your garage door. And this is where you can go for that. Oh yeah, I've seen these like walk-in tubs. These are pretty cool. You just kind of open the door and walk in. It's real good for, you know, like my parents who are limited mobility. They can get into a bathtub without having to step over the the railing of it. You know, more kitchen, more uh, bathroom updates and stonework and kitchens and bathtubs. Nice stuff around here. You know, we got this stonework company here, and they got a little thing you can kind of stand behind it and you can't pretend you're Fred and Wilma from the Flintstones. I love a lot of this uh, like stonework stuff that they have here. This is one of those things that's just kind of uniquely Texas here. Home of the armadillo, yep. We've seen those around here. Nice work, love, the, love some of this stuff. This would be one of those things that would kind of be cool to have in the yard. Check out this table. Just on a big barrel here. Put a big, uh, big thick stone platform on top. Love the the glass work in the center. Let's just kind of wander around, look at some of this stuff. Some really cool kind of ideas. Yeah, for your uh, corporate sign out in front of your business or just for your house. All sorts of great options here. Uh, I guess you knew that Home Depot was going to have a place in here. Selling their bathtubs and shower enclosures and all that kind of stuff. The company sells pressure washers. Yeah, that's kind of have to need that from time to time. I know when I painted my house a couple years ago, first thing I had to do was pressure wash it. Seriously thought about buying one at the time. As the company deals with foundation repair, I should leave their business card on a couple of those houses that I've looked at. I guess uh, Chip and Joanna Gaines have uh, worked with these guys. Because there's both of them there. There's Joanna. And there's Chip. Yeah, see, this is what happens when your house doesn't, uh, you know, isn't properly uh, leveled before uh, or after time. You know, sometimes it settles and that can be really bad. The whole house can collapse. Uh, check out this work. This guy does uh, mantles and stuff like that. Made out of, uh, I guess, mesquite wood. Beautiful stuff. Look at the work on that. That's beautiful stuff. Holy cow. <laughs> nice work. I guess that's walnut. Really nice stuff. Valley Mills mantles, have to keep them in mind. Granite for your uh, countertops and showers and stuff like that, really nice. It's kind of a trip, I think I know why I cho they chose this piece here. Because it looks like right in the middle, it looks like there's a face staring back at you. And see what, the, what they do, you know, that's actually one piece that's been divided down the middle. So that's why it looks so mirrored on the in the middle there, is because it's actually, the, that was all kind of seamed together at one point and they cut it apart. Beautiful stuff. Oh uh, yeah, then you get the, the big uh, industrial sized lawnmowers. Got to do that if you have like a big, huge piece of property. And uh, might have to consider one of these at some point, depending on how much property I end up with. This probably would be a little overkill though for a normal yard. Go across the yard once and the whole thing's done. 
fencing and gating. See, a lot of the houses I've looked at, uh, you know, don't have much of a perimeter fence or anything like that. So I might have to consider something like this too, if I get a house that, you know, I wouldn't be able to keep flashing. Linex, that's the people that do the coatings that go in the back of trucks and stuff like that. Some uh, more cutlery stuff here, and this guy's doing a little presentation right now. All uh, right, you went on show every three minutes here. Let's see how about you, sir. Okay, that guy kind of lost me with uh, with some bad jokes. His joke was, "What do you call a cow with no legs?" And the punchline was, "It's ground beef." But I'm bum. And of course, the one accessory you need with every house is a car. And so they got some cars you can look at here. Kind of nice stuff here. Just bought a new car recently, or leased one actually, so not horribly interested in this, but that's still all right. Dodge Durango. Jordan was kind of joking with me. He said, when I move out here, I'm gonna have to get a pickup truck. Unfortunately, I think he's probably right. Yeah, if I'm going to be doing work on my house, I'm going to need to be able to have the ability to get all that stuff home. Chrysler Pacifica. There you go, there's a Dodge Ram for you. Something every good redneck has to have. I don't know, this still might be a little overkill for me. Never seen one of those, that's like a Jeep pickup truck. Sit the whole family and still uh, do some off-roading with it. Yeah, this is another concept for like an enclosed patio. Yeah, great when you want to hang out outside but don't want to get eaten alive by the insects. Yeah, this is just a kind of a small demonstration. I don't think it'd be 100% effective either. It doesn't seem to be covered currently on the roof, but like I said, this is for demonstration purposes. Here's some examples of what they do. You know, enclosed patio cover. Yeah, all sorts of kind of nice things you could do with that. So I think that's really all that I have to do to show you today. This was actually really fun. I'm kind of glad I went to this. Learned a few things, uh, you know, about uh, getting ready for a house. And there's a lot of really kind of cool stuff here. So picked up a few business cards, a few uh, promotional things. And you know what? Well, uh, be more prepared when the time comes so i think that's all that i have for today thank you as always for watching and i will see you next time on escaping the mouse good night